Hello, my name is Heather Webb. I'm a 2022 McGillicuddy Humanities Center Fellow, and my project is titled, Writing My Way Through Career Transition. I set out to write five interconnected essays that investigated my experience as a teacher career transitioning into nursing through personal narrative. Above my desk right now are at least 20 yellow sticky notes and an intricate flowchart. I had a lot of threads I wanted to trace. There were points in which the reality of being a nursing student, parent, and part-time instructor during a pandemic that seemed personally intent on destroying what was left of my executive function that made me want to turn my focus outward to a more traditional method of research. I did not want to ponder my experience. I wanted to think about anything else. Like every piece we've read from working parents over the last few years, I struggled with word recall, attention, reading comprehension. All of my energy went to planning for inevitable disruptions. This changed when I came across an interview with Kate Baer, who described her move to poetry as cheating on my novel with poetry. She noted the changing landscape of mom blogging. I, too, was struggling with my place there and a desire to get away from personal narrative for a bit. Her book, I Hope you, This Finds You Well, uses erasure poetry to deconstruct sometimes violent, usually offensive comments and direct messages to create original poems. I dipped into this genre after receiving a certified letter from the School of Nursing that had some discouraging information in it. Part of my return to school had been predicated on my desire to take every opportunity in a way I hadn't been able to as a struggling student fresh out of high school. So this message was one, confusing, and two, distressing. After some digging, I discovered that I didn't qualify to have my old GPA from 1999 through 2004 separated from my current program and that I would have to find a way to deal with my record not reflecting my current capability and achievements. So I created a set of erasure poems from department communication that didn't line up with the reality of myself as an adult learner. My favorite piece from this series is from an email reply to a question I had about our test practice software. Follow up. Experts feel knowledge questions immediate judgments. Meaningless application tests you. Did I, did I learn? I also wrote a series of three essays. One examines the most important thing my teachers and professors did for me as a younger student. Another is a braided essay exploring the teacher, student, nurse, parent roles within my current social context. And another investigates my experience moving from expert to novice during a career transition. My two most persistent takeaways from this fellowship bring that duality of my experience of teacher and student together in the form of two lines for further inquiry and action. The first takeaway engages the idea that humanity scholarship within nursing remains a sticky but critical endeavor because the mental toughness that we traditionally associate with nurses is still viewed as a necessary attribute and one that is critical for working with the absolute strength and frailty of our human bodies, lives, and relationships. It evokes the relationship between nursing and nursing education and military training and service. As we continue to move through this pandemic and reckon with attrition of nursing as a profession, which was happening long before, it is worth examining if a more humanistic approach to nursing education would fortify nurses and, in turn, the profession itself. My second takeaway references this fellowship year in that it allowed me to explore the use of personal narrative as both research in the documentation and analysis of my experience and as a distinctly meaning-making activity. I constantly thought of my time with the university's main writing project in 2015 in which we worked as a cohort to read widely within our profession, write across genres, develop theory and practice, and present to our cohort and colleagues. 
we unequivocally left the project with a greater understanding of our work, our students, and ourselves. And I left the project wondering what the model could do for different professions. Even then, I was thinking about nurses. Now, I know that a similar project could help nurses make meaning out of a dynamic and challenging profession. I'll continue working with the major results of my fellowship, whether the work occurs within employment or academics. Though there are many medical humanities programs, few make space or time for nurses, and they're often adjuncts to nursing education and staff development without meaningful connection. This concludes my 2022 McGillicuddy Humanities Center Undergraduate Fellowship. I would like to thank Clement and Linda McGillicuddy for making this opportunity possible. The University of Maine Children's Center, I would not have been able to do any of this without high quality and consistent childcare. Karen Sieber for talking me through the application process and Brian Jansen for helping us wrap. Neilda Cravens for signing on as my advisor when she did not have time for another obligation. Mike Sokolow for his bottomless well of passion and support for the center and students. And my friends and family for listening to me talk about this project for a full year. Finally, thank you to Deb Rogers for assigning that blog project so long ago and for your decades-long faith in me. Thank you for watching.